Hi, my name's AJ, or Baldy Locks on XDA Developers, and I'm going to briefly show you the hubs layout I've got on my Nexus 7, and give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. All credit goes to a user, Flip Arsenal, on the uh, Iconia A500 um, XDA Developer forums. Uh, that's where I first saw this idea, and I know there's a lot of other users that have been doing this, but uh, I thought for those in the Nexus 7 community, they might quite like um, to set their tablet up like this. So I've got root access on this with the tablet UI um, because I'm used to my old Iconia, Iconia A500, so I quite like that. Um, also, it allows me to get a um, app launcher up the very top of the screen instead of putting uh, ADW's um, dock bar in the middle, uh, sorry, on the side. Um, if you do like a dock, you can get one across the middle as well, um, thanks to the tablet UI. So I'm using ADW Launcher, um, the reason being is these shortcuts down the bottom here, if you can see them, there we go, these shortcuts down the bottom here, when you press on them, they launch you to that corresponding screen. Um, ADW Launcher is the only launcher I've seen so far that has this. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I'd love to change. The reason being is the transition effect um, is broken on ADW for Jelly Bean. Um, I would normally use the cube effect and it would wrap those widgets and those icons around the uh, wallpaper but it just gives you graphical glitches on Jelly Bean. Um, so yeah, I'm using multi-live wallpaper, multi-pick live wallpaper that allows you to set full directories on your SD card or full albums as um, the image for each screen and it will slowly rotate th uh, through those over, I've got mine set to a five minute period and if you double tap on the screen it also changes to the next image or random image for you. Um, so you can see there I've got uh, work, I've got my Facebook and my Twitter feed there from uh, Android Pro widgets. I've got my work page, uh, calculator, office suite, that sort of thing there. I've got my media page, music, videos, YouTube, galleries. I've got my home page, web browser, Google Mail, file browser, Play Store and app folder there of a lot of stuff I use quite a bit. Then my book page, um, my PDF reader or ebook reader. I love Deco. It's the um, best one I've found so far. It memorizes where you've been. I've got uh, back out of there Dropbox, Google Drive. Uh, there's quite a nice comic book uh, reader there. Uh, this one has nice transition effects. And if you tap on, uh, go to page with some speech bubbles, if you tap on just a speech bubble, it only enhances that speech bubble. It's quite a good comic book reader there. And I got my oops, got my Google pay, uh, Games page as well. So Star Wars Old Republic uh, applications, older arcade games, racing games, RPGs, Integra specific games and simulators, emulators at the top. So that, in a nutshell, is the hubs system or layout. Um, gives you quite a nice. Uh, finish to your Android tablet instead of those um, widgets and, and apps just lying about here and there. It kind of tidies things up. Um, like I said, this has been done before. So uh, if you want to know how you can get this done, uh, in the link below to the uh, Iconia post for the Hubs layout, there's some video tutorials on how you can set up your minimalistic um, text widget there to make a transition bar, how to um, set up these ADW um, screen shortcuts and how to change the icons. You can make icons using Simple Text, uh, Simple Text Icon Creator. It's an app on the market, free. And um, yeah, uh, now I've gained root access by using the um, root toolkit version 1.5.2 by Wugfresh and the tablet UI is done through a density change, uh, LCD density change using ROM Toolbox Lite, it's a free app, you don't need to worry about the paid version unless you want to support the developer and that sort of stuff, but uh, that's quite simple, you just need to go into the ROM Toolkit and um, go to the second page which is the performance, oops, the performance um, page there, go to the build prop editor Scroll down to sr dot no ro dot <laughs> ro dot uh, sf dot lcd 
underscore density, click on that, change it to 160, default is uh, 213, change it to 160, reboot the tablet and um, you're away. Do make sure you do an Android backup, which you can do using the ROM toolkit. Um, I did mine with a temporary clockwork mod, so I, s I keep the stock um, recovery in case there's an update. I'd like to just easily update the device uh, and gain root. So yeah, that's about it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.